Okay, so I'm on the sun deck. There's two chalks over there, which they remove from here. And they've got a six and a half meter, which is about 18 foot diesel jet tender with low hours. Underneath here, there's the crane. So it lifts up onto this deck and then just takes off the tender. There's a jacuzzi, which is built in seating. And then these are removed. And I don't know what's under here. Ah, there's, there's a, I don't know if it's operational, but. And then you've got two jet skis on the bow. I don't know if there's a, there's a barbecue here, maybe a wet bar here. And then a shallow gradient stair going down. All the teak decks were replaced. So coming back onto this main deck area, there's a very large seating area and the crane, the crane is underneath this very large seating area. And there's a table right here, seats about 10, 12 people. The owner's sitting here, so I won't get them in the picture. And then this is accent, this goes into the sky lounge. This is the best, like to see the color of the wood. It's a very neutral, almost like a green gray color. It must have a special name, but it's quite nice. You see the big TV, seating area, chaise lounge. Then we'll go forwards into the bridge. There's a day head here, I'm assuming. Nice. And then in 2017, late, everything was upgraded. All the electronics were all brand new. The paint was completed. 2017. This is 2020, yeah. sorry. All this is new 20, state of the art then. Back here is the captain's cabin. And then we're just gonna go forwards and down onto the bow. You can see the paint is in very good condition, painted in the shipyard next door to Fed Ship. So this is a working deck with the two jet skis, but also nice, they've actually featured these two seating areas on either side. So you've got a little bit of privacy here also. This is pretty cool because you don't often see this on a working deck. And look, I'm assuming he has a dog as well. This is access into the chain locker. Very, very clean, nice boat. Oh, there's the tender down there. We'll see if we can see it. That's the uh, tender. You can see that. Quick look at the windows, because all these were re-seamed at the time of the paint job. I'm just going to look on the outside of the, the window frames. Yeah. You can see all in very good shape. It's a door that goes back into Sky Lounge. So we're going back down into the foyer. This will be the day head. That's probably access into the galley. Uh, day oh, day head's on the other side. Sorry, that's technical room. Day head. And then there's a doorway. Pocket door that goes into the master cabin. So there's storage. A little credenza. There's a small sofa here. More storage. And then there's a desk storage nice artwork more storage king size bed center line and then on the starboard side you've got a his and a hers you got maybe bathtub very ornate shower and 
thinking this may be a walk-in closet. Ah, voila. A big walk-in closet. Drawers. Synonymous with these fed ships. You can't even hear the air conditioning. It's very quiet on board. The boat's very neutral in colour. There's no primary colours anywhere. So it would look different if you changed the carpet, put some coloured accents maybe, but it's very tasteful the way it looks. Okay, so we're going into the main salon. It comes with wife and child. Flatware storage on either side, and that's access into the galley. Flatware storage and all flatware storage all under here. Yeah. And then there's three cabins aft from here. It's the doorway that goes back here. Try not to get anybody in here that shouldn't be in here. <laughs> and then this goes down into the guest quarters. Going through into the galley, there's a serving pantry, through a crew entrance. Commercial galley, all stainless steel, refrigeration. I don't know what these things are, but they look pretty serious. And then we go down into the crew quarters. It's one, three cabins here, one cabin in the back of the boat, stewardess cabin, walk-in freezer, laundry, meal appliances, crew mess, one, two, three cabins. Nice crew mess. This has a lock on it, but look at that. So this is the refrigerator and behind it will be a freezer. See that that was a wine cellar as well. And now this goes into the engine room. So we have a separate generator room which is very nice because you don't need to put the generators in sound shields this is a very commercial application of a engineered yacht so you can see everything in here this is very very clean so you've got these two generators look at this boat wow these people really keep this boat in nice shape Caterpillar generators. So the major refit was 19 to 20. This is all the switch gear. These are engines with zero time at 8,000. Oh, dead generator, sorry. Generator was zero time 8,000 and now it's 15,000. And this is all the original documentation for everything so everybody knows exactly what was done. And the engines were re built their 500 horsepower 3412 D-rated commercial engines. Oh, there we are. So they were, they were rebuilt at 10,000 hours, which is nothing for these engines with this horsepower. And how many hours do they have now? Uh, 3,500. So 3,500 since the rebuild. That was the frequency converter that was installed new. Water maker looks relatively new. There's yeah, we install a fresh, uh, we install a new high pressure pump. Okay, high pressure pump. Uh, fresh water heater is new. And that's the air conditioning system back over there. I don't know what the story is. Uh, what, this one? Yeah, this yeah, one. all the piping in there. Uh, this one is uh, uh, fire. 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 Are these dry stacks? This one is right now, not dry factory. It's a wet exhaust. Air conditioning were or are? They were, they were. So all the compressors for the air. I love this uh, 
diamond plate. This is super well maintained. What about all of the valves and tank inspections? Uh, when were they last done? Valves and tank inspections? Yeah. Uh, we have four fuel tanks. Mm -hmm. Two everything. Four fuel tanks, one main tank, mm -hmm. uh, 7500, one long range, it's in the front, and two wings. Uh, we have two fresh water tanks. They open also in the engine. Mm -hmm. There we have pitch pump and fire pump. These, look, these exhaust manifolds were replaced or checked. You see all the new stainless bolts here. You can see these valves have all been redone. That's all new bolts on the top here. Yeah. There must be an extensive list. This is the waste treatment plant. Treatment plant, new fuel separator, 577 hours. So that's the alpha Laval fuel separator. This yacht will be very fuel efficient. How many uh, litres an hour do you burn? Uh, we burn a litre to main engines, 10 knot speed. Yeah. 150 litres. 150 litres an hour at 10 knots. That gives you a range of what? Uh, okay. It's a transatlantic range? Yeah. yeah. yeah although in total, we, we can take 45,000 litres. 45,000 litres at 150. An hour at 10 knots. With the fed ship wiring chasers and looms, look how well the wire goes. This is why the fed ship are known for their expert engineering and wiring practices. Look at those cable runs. It looks though like it's air conditioned in here as well, I think. Yeah, this is ventilation for So here's a nice feature. This is a boarding gangway which lowers down to the water. When you're alongside, it's tucked inside of here and it's built into the bulkhead here. All the decks were replaced. And then this was extended at some point, I don't know when or where, but this is nice. This was all added. I'm going to go down and take a look at that in a second. So this it goes down to the nice beach, open beach club area. See Bob's, that's a brand new passerail. And then back in here, storage, washer dryer. And there's another cabin in here for the one or two, two stewardesses or stewards. There's technical space in here. That's a huge electric motor for the passerelle, probably. And these are maybe diesel transfer to the tender. Correct. High fog, that's all high fog. I don't know what that thing is. is that, that's a, that's so a, it's a high fog compressor. Okay. For um, fire, fire. Oh, so it's yeah. a compressor yeah. for fire. Yeah, for the... And here's all the fire bottles. It's an interesting area. Mm. And then in here is an emergency steering and, and then access the to the steer, or not the steering, the, the steering's going to be, the, 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 the rudder posts are going to be about there, I guess. Just yeah, just here. So and, has, just, and there is the hydraulic mask for the steering. Right. And we keep our water support toys. Very clean boat. So this is the Lady Charlotte 2003 but 2020 refit. I've just been through the yacht. It was spectacular. Absolutely pristine. So this is an aft stairway that goes into the three cabins. It's going to be one full beam VIP with two guest cabins. So this is the VIP cabin full beam. Original stonework in here, walk-in shower. Is there a television in here? Is there a television in there? No. I didn't see a TV. No. no television. And then we've got the two guests forward of this storage pantry, queen-size bed. Mm-hmm.
got the port side one with two twins and a Pullman, so this will sleep three. So also, just like on your last yacht, these are pocket doors, probably glass, I'm assuming, and they fold all the way to here. And then there's two pieces of Isinglass plastic, which enclose this whole area. And also you'll see it's air conditioned or heated, which is a really nice feature. This, by the way, is one of the panels. It is a 110 boat. It was built as Catrion. It was built a number of Fed ships after that. And this is the third owner. Let me show you that shower. Very nice boat.